What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In the last video, we learned about JavaScript strings. In JavaScript, strings are probably the most frequently used data type. To make working with strings easier, JavaScript has numerous string methods readily available for us to use. In this video, we will learn about various string methods that are used to perform different operations on strings. So let's get started. As the name suggests, the to uppercase method converts any string to uppercase. Suppose I have a string like this, so on my code editor, I'll say const text equals I like JavaScript. Let's say we want to convert all the characters to uppercase. Now to do this, we can use the to uppercase method. So I can say const result equals text dot to uppercase and parenthesis. Remember that U and C are capital letters here. Now let me see what I get in the result. When I press run, you can see that this string that had a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters is now all in uppercase. Similarly, if you want to convert all the characters to lowercase, we can use the to lowercase method. So I'll start with something like I like JavaScript and let me change this to two lowercase, oops, lowercase. And when I press run, you can see that all the uppercase letters like I, J and S were converted to lowercase. The concat method joins two or more strings. Suppose I have these two strings, const s text one equals JavaScript and const text to equals programming. Now let's use the concat method to join these two strings together. I can say const result equals text one dot concat text two. And let me print the result as always. When I press run, you must have guessed the output by now. I get JavaScript combined with programming. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. The replace method is used to replace a string with another string. Suppose I have a string value that says, hello, my name is Puneet. So I'll say const text equals, hello, my name is Puneet. Now, if I want to replace the text hello with hi, I can simply use the replace method. Let me show you how. So I'll say const result equals text dot replace. And for the first argument, it will be hello. And the second argument will be hi. Here, the method replace replaces the first argument or the value in the first argument with the second argument. That means text has hello, which is here, and it will be replaced by hi. Let me console log the result and press run. And you can see that instead of hello, my name is Puneet, I now get hi, my name is Puneet. The split method is used to split a string into an array of individual elements. Suppose we have a sentence like this. On my screen, you can see a variable called text containing a sentence. Now I want to use the split method to split this string into individual words. I can do that by saying const result equals text dot split and a string having just a space. This will split this string into individual words or in fact, any character I put inside this can be used. So console.log result, and you must have guessed the output by now. I will get an array of strings. Each string will be a word in the sentence. Now, the split method is interesting because we can also use it to derive the characters from a word. So instead of a sentence, I can say something like text equals to JavaScript. And now I can say const result equals text dot split. 
Now since I don't want to split it by anything or uh, I want to split it by the empty string, I can just put an empty string here and now when I do console log text or, or result and press run, you can see that I got an array of each letter in the word JavaScript. The slice method extracts the required string from the given string. Suppose we have a string like this. So again, I'll go back to my old code that contains the string JavaScript. Now, if I want to extract Java from the string, I can use the slice method as const result equals text dot slice and zero comma four. The slice method takes two arguments. In this case, it's zero and four. The first argument zero is the start index of the string that we want to extract. In this case, it's j which is at the zero index. The second argument is the end index. In this case, it is s and not a. So I want to extract Java, but the, the way the slice works is I want to give the end index that is exclusive or that is not included. So I want to go one step further than I need to. Now, if I do console log result and press run, you can see that I get Java. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below. Press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. The trim method removes the extra white space from the strings. Suppose we have a string. In fact, let me not get a new string. I'll add spaces before and after this JavaScript string. Let me remove this dot. And now I want to remove these extra spaces from the beginning and the end. All I need to do is const result equals text dot trim. And now if I do console dot log result, I get a beautiful string with no spaces at the front and at the end. In JavaScript, we can use the search method to search for a substring in a given string. Suppose I have a string like this, so const text equals JavaScript is fun. Now I want to search for the substring fun in this string. Here I can use the search method like this. So I can say const result equals text dot search and fun. Let me console log the result and press run. And you can see that I get a weird number uh, 14. But when I, I let's do a small exercise. So I'll start from J with zero and we'll go ahead. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That means 14 is the index of the first appearance of the word fun within the text string. In case the method could not find a substring inside the string, it returns minus one. Let me modify this code. So here I will say funny and press run. And you can see that this time I got minus one. Apart from the string methods I mentioned in this video, the JavaScript string provides many more methods to perform different operations on string. If you want to learn about all of them, you can visit our website www.programmings.com. I will put the link in the video description below. Now to practice what we've learned, here's a programming task for you. Create a string I love Java. Convert the string to lowercase and check if the string consists of the substring Java. If yes, replace the substring Java with JavaScript. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we've reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. What is the output of this program? Comment your answer below and I'll see you in the next video. Happy programming.